all right so what we are looking at in today's video is binance spot trading um this is a step-by-step -step on how to trade spot on the binance exchange so first if you log into your binance account all you need to do is if you don't have the um, interface i'm having right now to be able to follow up you want to go to the top corner here where it says um where you see this profile icon okay at the top left click on it and once you are here you see that the binance pro option is toggled on if yours is not on make sure that you toggle this on to switch from the binance light mode to the pro mode now i'm using the dark team that is why my screen or the binance inter interface is dark if you want to do that you can toggle this option here to switch from the light mode to um the the dark team and so on so that you'll be able to follow up now when you come to the home page this is what the home page of the binance app looks like the first thing you want to do to assess your spot trading interface is to click on where it says trades if i click on these trades it brings us to this page now when it brings us to this page at the top here you see some menus here the first option is convert the second option is spot the third option is margin the fifth here fiat and then p2p okay so what we are focusing on is make sure that the spot option is highlighted because this is spot trading then when you want to trade margin you can just switch to margin when you want to use the convert option you switch to convert when you want to trade p2p or fiat you switch to each of that but today we are just looking at the spot trading option now once you are on the spot trading option the next thing you will see here is the pair of the token you want to trade by default what you will see here is btc usdt once you select the token you want to trade the next thing is here on the buy option you are going to buy now that i have dogecoin selected it means that any of the buy option that i trigger here if i click on buy here i'm going to be buying the dogecoin now when it comes to the buying option you can be buying any of this token you select with usdt or busd these are the default stable coin that binance uses in all of the pairs that they list on their exchange so you can either trade doge against usdt or trade it against busd usdt is a stable coin busd is a stable coin one usdt is equivalent to one dollar likewise one busd is equivalent to one dollar so we buy with usdt or busd and then we'll sell back to usdt or busd it's not as if you can only buy and sell with BUSD or USDT. If I come back here, so if I come back to the coin option here and click on it, where it says Dodge USDT, if I click on it, you see that it gives us the option to search for the token. Now I am on my favorite type, that's why you see just specific coins here. If you are not seeing the coin you want to trade, what you need to do is to click on the search icon. So once you click on the search icon, for instance, let's say you want to trade BTC USDT. Now, when I type in BTC, you see all of these different pairs that comes up. I can trade BTC, buy or sell BTC with USDT, sell it to USDT. I can do that with BUSD, okay? And then you see other options that are related to BTC and the rest popping up. Now, if it is Doge I want to trade, I can go ahead, okay, delete this and then type in the Doge coin. Once I type in Doge, you see that Doge USDT comes up, Doge BUSD comes up. So your concern is just either BUSD or USDT. This depends on the kind of stablecoin you have. If you have USDT, select the USDT option. If you have BUSD, select the BUSD option. But if you have BTC and you want to buy Dogecoin with BTC, you can select this option that says BTC. So I see no reason why somebody will want to trade BTC um, for Dogecoin and the rest. But people do do that, do that because of, you know, how the market works and the rest. So you can trade this with BTC, you can trade it with the AUD, all of these other tokens you see here. But our major focus is either BTC or USD, uh, BUSD. So I'll go ahead and select the first option. Now when you select that option, the next thing is to buy. Okay, on the buy tab here, we want to buy Dogecoin. So the whole essence of spot trading is buying low and selling high. If I buy 100 Dogecoin today, um, if I don't sell it, even if the price drops below what is currently trading, I still have that 100 Dogecoin. So it means that I can still hold on to that 100 Dogecoin until Dogecoin gets to a certain price and then I can sell for profit. So after the buy option here, yeah, the next thing you see here is this limit option. If I click on this arrow, there is the drop down. These are all market orders. 
now if i click on it we have the limit order okay the limit order type then we have the market order type we have the stop limit the trailing stop and then the oco but our focus in this tutorial will be the market and the limit okay limit is when you specify the amount of dollars they are the price at which you want to buy here at the right here here where you can see this red and green um prices or table table chart here this is called the order book these are all pending order and these are people who created order with limit order now they are specifying the price they want to sell or these people are specifying the price they want to sell that is different from the current market price and then these people are specifying the price they want to buy that is different from the current market price so the more btc um dogecoin continues to go up the more these people's order will continue to get filled and then the more it continues to go down the more the orders for buy will continue to get filled until all of the orders are empty here so it means that when you see all of this it means that people are currently actively trading on this platform so people have orders that are pending and when the price hits their target their order is filled up so whenever you use limit order to set up an order for yourself it means that your order will be pending here or here depending whether you want to buy or sell and then when the price moves and hit your target your order will be filled up and you'll be out of the order book that is how it works so limit order is using it to specify the price at which you want to buy or sell so what we do is um, we use the limit market order to buy most of the time. Okay, we use market order to buy because market order in the sense that let's say right now I come in here and then this price has dropped to 0 0.06 or 0 0.07. That is a very low price at that point for Dogecoin. All I need to do is just to rush and use market order to buy. When I use market order to buy at 0 0.06 or 0 0.07, I will now use limit order to specify that oh if this gets to 0 0.1 or 0 0.098 i want to sell that is how it works so our focus is just on limit and market order so let's assume we want to buy right now go ahead and select the market order now when i select the market order it means that i am going to buy with the best market price so if the market is currently 0 0.098 four four or four six whatever it changes to once i'm using market order that is what my order will be executed at okay right now i have usdt in my account um just three usdt in my account so if i want to buy dogecoin with this usdt all i just need to do is to use this slider here for instance if i have like um plenty usdt here i would have said oh i want to use 25 percent of the usdt i have well, I want to use 50% of the USDT I have. Well, I want to use 75% of the USDT I have or 100%. So if I click on 100%, it means that if I buy Dogecoin right now with these three USDT I have here, I'm going to get 33 Dogecoin. So all I just need to do is just to click on buy. And once I click on buy, that order will be executed immediately. That is because I am using market order. But if I want to buy Dogecoin lower than this, all I need to do is to change from market to limit. When I change from market to limit, I have the option to type in my own price here. So I can go ahead and delete all of this and say that I want to buy Dogecoin when it gets to 0 0.05. When it gets to 0 0.05, I want to use 100% of the capital I have to buy Dogecoin. So once I click on this slider that says 100% here, I go ahead and click on buy, buy Doge. Then Binance will ask me, do I want to confirm this transaction? I say yes. It means that if it gets to 0 0.05, I'm going to get 66 um, Dogecoin, as you can see there. So I just click on confirm, and the total order value should not be um, should be more than $10. That is what Binance is saying. So for you to be able to trade on the spot market here, you need at least $10 to be able to trade. Any coin you want to buy, you should be buying from $10 and above. That is what Binance is saying. So it means that this order will not be executed because I only have three usdt here so i need to have 10 usdt and above to be able to trade on the spawn market now when you finish buying the next thing because you are not going to sit in the market and watch the market to go up the next thing you want to do is to click on the sell option so if i go ahead and click on the sell option you see that this is now highlighted and then this one is now highlighted okay so i have some dogecoin here 
and then if i want to sell that i will use limit order now that the limit order is here the next thing is to specify the price i want to buy let's assume that i bought at this current price i'm not going to sell at this current price so i want to sell the four dogecoin that i have here when Do um, dogecoin gets to one dollar for instance this is just an instance so i just go ahead and put or let me just put what is reliable okay 0 0.14 so I just put in 0 0.114. That is when Dogecoin gets to 14 cent. I want to sell 100% of the Doge that I have here. So if I sell this four Dogecoin at 14 cent, it means that I'll be getting 56 cent. Okay. This will not go through because this is less than a dollar. So once you specify your price, you use you click on 100 percent The next thing is just to click on sell. Okay. And then if I confirm this, it will not go through because it is less than $10. So that's why it's complaining. So once I click on sell, because it is a limit order, you will see it under here. It will be listed at this page here where it says open order. So all of your limit order will be opened at this page here. So it can be here. You can come in here to cancel it or just allow it. And it can remain here for as long as the market is below your expectation. It will remain here. Whenever the market gets to that price you want to sell, automatically this order will be executed. So that is how you use this um, Binance spot trading option. So you buy here, you can buy here and then come in here to sell. You buy here and come in here to sell. And whenever you're using limit order, your orders will be pending here. So when the price gets to your turn or gets to your target, your order will be executed. But one thing we need to look at is how do you know when to buy and when to sell? That is very, very important because if it is just coming here, buy and coming here, sell, it is easy. You know how to buy and sell, but how do you know when to buy and sell? That is why we need to leverage this icon here is what leads you to the chart of this particular coin we've selected. So every coin you select here, you always see this chatting icon here. So you want to make sure that you click on this chatting icon. And this will take you to the chart for this particular token. Okay. So once it takes you to the chart for this particular token, the next thing now we are looking at this chart on a daily time frame. Now, because we are looking at it on a daily time frame, it means that every candlestick you see here, all of these things you see here, this green and red are called candlesticks. So every candlestick, whether big or small, represents one day. It means that it took any candlestick, if I zoom at this. Let me zoom in that. So any candlestick you see here, even this smallest one here, it took 24 hours for this candle to open and close. Now what makes it red and green is, for the ones that are green, it means that the candlestick opened down here and closed up here. Okay, that is why it is green. Anyone that opens up and closes down, it is red. So in the crypto space, we say these are bullish candle. The ones that are, um, are green are bullish. The ones that are red are bearish candle. So the market, the crypto trading market, okay, the same thing is similar to forest market. Is a fight between bears and bulls. Bears and bulls. That is why we look at green candles and we say it is bullish. Okay, the bulls are the one winning at that particular instant. Then when you look at the red one, it is bearish, meaning that the bears are the one winning the fight in the market. So the the market here is a fight between buyers and sellers. There are times buyers will supersede sellers and then the price will continue to, uh, sellers will supersede buyers, then the price will continue to go up. Then when the buyers jump into the market, they will begin to take control and then the market continues to go up. So what we look at is we can use indicators. Currently the indicator that is activated here, all this line you are seeing here, this is called Bollinger Bands, Bollinger Bands, and and this is what is um this is the short name for that, and it is highlighted here. These Bollinger Bands are these things, these indicators you are using here. But basically, for this tutorial, in order not to get you confused and the rest, we just focus on the RSI. These are all indicators you can use to know when to buy and sell. These are all indicators. All of these ones are all indicators. They are all indicators. You can click on any one if i click on any one for instance if i want to add the volume indicator if i click on you see that the volume indicator pops up here once it is highlighted this way it means that the indicator is active once it is grayed out it is not active if i click on the volume again 
it goes up. That is why it is greater this way. So if I want to use MACD, for instance, this one that is called MACD, I just click on this one and you see the MACD indicator showing up here. So if you know how to use this, any of this indicator, you go ahead. But one thing I'm going to teach you is just one indicator in this um, um, training today, which is the RSI. Okay. The RSI, the full meaning for RSI is Relative Strength Index. Uh, this is an indicator that follows, um, it is an oscillator indicator that follows, you know, the trend of the market. It, tell, it tells you when the market is overbought and then when the market is oversold. So to activate the indicator, I'll go ahead and click on the RSI. Once I click on the RSI, this line here represents the RSI. Now, by default, there is a line at the top here. You may not be able to see it. And then there is a line beneath here. So the top line here is represented by 70. That is by default on the RSI setting. And then the last line here is represented by 30. So the, the number on the RSI can be seen here. Aside this number that is on bracket here, after the bracket number, you see that the RSI is showing 53 here. So that 53, it means that this current position is where that is the number of the RSI. So what we are looking at is that this RSI, this number must be showing and before we can buy in the market. The RSI should be below 30, anything from 30 below. It means that the market is overbought. Overbought in the sense that the, the, bear, the bear people or the bearish or the bears are the ones who are taking over the market. As you can see here. So they started taking control of the market from here and the market continues to drop. So when it is oversold, it means that the bears are beginning to get tired. So any moment from then, the market will reverse back. The, uh, you know, the... The, the bulls will come and take over the market. That is why, how we are using this indicator. So here at this point, it is overbought. It means that this RSI at this point in time went below the 30. So anything from 30 below, the market is oversold. So at that point in time, you are looking for the market to reverse back. So you can buy, for instance, we would have bought Dogecoin at this instance. And then if we have bought here, then we would have sold at the current price that is trending right now. Then when the indicator, this RSI is above the 70, anything from 70 upward, it can get up to even 100. But anything from 70 upward, it means that the market is, begin, is being overbought. So the, uh, the bulls who are taking over the market are getting tired. That is exactly what you see here. So they, they started pushing the market and the market got down up here. Now, they got tired and then the BS now came and took over the market. So whenever you see the indicator from 70 and above, the market is overbought. And because it is overbought, what is simply telling you is that any moment from now, the market will reverse back, meaning that the other opponent will come and take over and start pushing the market down. That is why we have this option here, which is, um, you know, um, as you can see at this price in time, the market started pushing down so rsi alone can be used to make very simple decisions in the market and use it to trade this crypto market now because we are on the daily time frame it means that it can take you longer it can take you days for your trade to go in profit because if i can't here this is one two three four five six seven eight or there about so it took almost one week plus for this market to go from this point down here and now, after it gets here, people started buying, okay? The bulls started coming in and they started buying. And as they are buying, the market now came up to this level at the current price where it is right now. But if you just want to do this on a daily basis, then you need to do it on a lower time frame. As you can see, we have the 15 minutes time frame, we have the one hour time frame, four hours time frame, and then the one day time frame. If you want to see more time frame, just click on this arrow that says more. Once you click on it, there is a drop down. You see all of these time frames. So you can do one second, one minute, three minutes, five minutes, any of the time frame you prefer. But normally, I like going with the 15 minutes time frame. 15 minutes in the sense that I can buy today, sell today, before the day today ends, I would have bought and sold and make some profit. So you wait for the market to come down. Okay. You can see here at this level, the RSI is showing you that the market is overbought. 
and then if you have bought here you would have sold at the current price right now which you would have made profit so this can be um can happen in a day or two or thereabout so this is how you use only the rsi to determine when to buy and when to sell once again once the rsi is done here what you want to pay attention to is the numbers we are seeing here right now it has moved to 66 when i started it was um, around 50 something it means that the market continues to go up so if it goes above 70 be expecting that the market will start coming down so once this rsi is from 70 80 reading here you want to pay attention to the market reversing back and when you start reversing you want to sell there and wait for it to reverse back to anything between 30 below and then you sell so basically that is how you can use the rsi to make decision this can be used once you set up the rsi it is set up even if i change this to um let's say i change it to bnb usdt and i go back to click on that chart again that rsi i set initially will always be there on all of the chart you see that the rsi is equally showing up here so once you set it up once you just activate it here by clicking here it is on any any chart you want to use it any of the coin you switch to the rsi will be there to guide you so that is how you can use one single indicator which is the rsi okay there are a lot of indication indicators um combinations you can use but for now as a beginner you just need the rsi to make simple in the in decision in the market to buy and sell and you can start being profitable an instance to let me just show you what is possible if i go back and click on the chart let me even go back to the dogecoin so click on the coin and type in doge again let me show you what would have been possible so if i select dogecoin and then go back to the chart this is on the 15 minutes time frame so let's assume we bought dogecoin when it gets to 0 0.09459 so if i come in here to click on buy 0 0.09 four five nine and then maybe i bought dogecoin worth hundred dollars it means that i would have gotten one thousand fifty seven dogecoin now the current price of doge is what you are seeing here 0 0.098 if i sell at this current price right now and then i sell one thousand fifty seven dogecoin it means that that hundred dollar would have given me a hundred and three dollar okay 103 dollar now if you wait for the market to increase more you would have made more so if you wait for the market to now increase to zero point let's say one four for instance your 100 and your 100 dollar worth of dogecoin would have now been worth 147 dollars so it is as simple as that. that is how you can use this to make decision in the market and be profitable whenever you are trading spot on the binance exchange it is very easy it is a beginner it is one of the easy way for uh, beginners to start just buy low sell high buy low just understand how to use the rsi and you can start buying low and selling high on the binance exchange